We all know how important Simon is to Marceline, so it was a given that we'd see him in the Obsidian special of Adventure Time Distant Lands. In the final episode of the Adventure Time series, we saw him as the Ice King get permanently reverted back into his normal self after almost getting digested by Gob. Fortunately for him, his girlfriend at the time, Betty, saved him by using the wish capabilities of the Ice King's crown to save him, in turn sacrificing herself making her and Gob fuse into one being. Sadly, she's gone and Simon is left all alone, but how does he deal with the loss of not only his girlfriend, but the loss of his kingdom? Well, let's explore what the Obsidian Special tells us about this. Princess! 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 Simon, don't leave me like this. Now there's a scene where Simon is wearing an outfit similar to that of the Ice King along with Gunter's slippers. Now we all know who Gunter is. Uh, he was the Ice King's personal servant turned traitor, in my opinion, where he is now known as the Ice Thing upon using the wish granting capabilities of the Ice King's crown. And he's now the ruler of the Ice Kingdom, now known as the Ice Thingdom. Very, very clever there, Gunter. So now that he's no longer the Ice King, he has no girlfriend, what does a former crazy ruler of an Ice Kingdom do to cope with such monumental loss? Well, he does this. Ah, what? This is how I cope! Now, you're probably wondering what is he doing with his head inside of the freezer? More importantly, how is he able to cope just by doing that? Well, let's first break down why he might need to find some sort of coping mechanism to deal with the significant life events he's faced. Well, Simon as the Ice King commanded an entire kingdom, but unfortunately he had a very twisted sense of morality, suffered memory loss, and was a rather lonely character. The magic crown is what transformed Simon into this character, so why would he ever want to relive those memories through the obvious maladaptive coping mechanism of donning the wardrobe of this being he once was. Since then, I now see the visions always, whether or not I wear the crown. They tell me the secrets, the secrets of the ice and snow, that the power of the crown will save me with its frost. Well, it's, it's kind of hard to say for certain, but what we're seeing in this particular scene is a character who regained their sanity yet misses the thrill, the, the excitement, uh, and the power of being a feared wizard. A wizard who was considered to be insane. The Ice King was crazy, we all know that. What Simon really misses is the power he wielded as the Ice King. So he uses this form of escapism to cope with the anxiety or stress of this particular loss. Now we also see him singing the song Remember You, which is a song that comes from several messages Simon wrote explaining to Marceline his deteriorating mental condition after the Mushroom War. Now he performs this song during an open mic night. This is definitely, I would say, a, a healthy coping mechanism, dealing with the loss of who he once was, and honestly, it's, it's kind of meta in a way. It seems as though Simon is going out of his way to remember his past misgivings as the Ice King, which is the very figure which caused his mental state to deteriorate, having him you know, spiral down into the dark pit of insanity that is the Ice King. But he likely wants to remember his past so that he doesn't repeat those negative actions if given the chance. But you know, when we see this scene with him in front of the freezer, it's, it's kind of hard to say how strong Simon's will might be if he were given or presented with another opportunity to become the Ice King or to wield such power as the Ice King yet again. The loss of his girlfriend Betty is, is also something Simon has to cope with, but we're not exactly certain how he deals with that particular loss. Just based on the few scenes we've seen with him in the Obsidian special, it's my belief that he's come to terms with the sacrifice Betty made to protect him. And that's a good thing too, because the last thing he should be thinking about at this particular state of his life is how to get her back. You know, she made the sacrifice for him and it appears Simon is content with moving on. Hopefully that glass lady, you know, he was like, you know, bumping uglies with or dancing with, you know, throw some action his way. Uh, because you know, Lord knows he sure does need it, man. He sure does. He's gone through a lot. 
Anyway, what are your thoughts on this? Let's talk about it in the comment section down below. Curious to know what you all thought about Simon's appearance in the Adventure Time Distant Lands Obsidian Special. Let's talk about it down below, please. Let's, uh, let's create some conversation. And if you're new here, hit that like button and think about subscribing for more content such as this. I do this all the time. And also, I have a membership button. Uh, if you'd like to join and support the channel even further, membership starts as low as $1.99. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.